Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Tiana, and if you're returning, it is so nice to see you again. So, today I have an empties video, and I am so excited because I love sharing like my thoughts, my opinions about products with you guys, and I have been saving these basically since like February or March. So this is everything that I have finished since like February, March of this year. Now I did finish a couple of other products like in January and February, but I didn't keep the bottles. I didn't keep the empties. Um, so if I remember them as I go along and if it kind of corresponds with an item that I'm talking about, I will mention it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. I have some products that I've loved all the way to absolutely hate and I would not recommend, so let's go. Okay, the first one's probably gonna be a little bit boring, but that's fine. So this is the Scope mouthwash. So I don't always buy mouthwash. I only buy it when it's like on sale for about $4. So I got this one and this one was okay. For my sensitive teeth, I found that it was just a little bit too much. I purchased another one. It's the same kind, it's the same scope, but it's a blue. It's not as bad, but I still personally find, I think it's Colgate or Crest without scope is just much better for myself personally. So scope for sensitive teeth for me is a no-go. Um, I kind of just wanted to share that. But yeah, I finished a bottle of mouthwash working on another. I don't always buy it. I buy it sometimes, not all the time. I feel like this kind of made my teeth a little bit more sensitive. So yeah. All right, let's talk about something that I did not like. And this was the Zotos Bioterra Color Care Shampoo. And I finished the conditioner. I just don't have the bottle. So here's the thing. When I was blonde, because I was blonde before, I'd want to say my natural hair color is to like here. So from my roots to here is my natural hair. And then this is all dyed or tinted to match it. So like... This much of my head is natural, and then from here down is tinted. When I was blonde, I stuck with Fenola, and it worked very, very well. Monday worked really, really well on my hair. And then when I swapped over to Brunette again, um, yeah, I went through it. I tried so many different shampoos and conditioners. I was using Fenola, it worked okay. I still use some Fenola products, but not like the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I tried Herbal Essence, I tried Monday, those did not work in my hair. So then I decided, okay, I'm gonna try this. I did not like this. This, it cleaned my hair and it conditioned and I did find that it lasted a long time, but I didn't find that it kept my color well. I found that my color faded fairly quickly even with using this and I found that my hair was getting really really knotty and I was having to like brush it a lot and it was dry and I also found that I was like losing hair with this shampoo and conditioner so I ended up just finishing this because I said you know what I spent the money so I finished it I bought something else, hated that too. I'm using something different now and it's working great. I just did not like this. I wouldn't recommend it only because it I, it didn't work for me. I didn't like it at all. I mean, the smell was okay. It lasted a while. I mean, you got your money's worth because it lasted a while, but I just found that it just left my hair dry. It didn't keep the color nice. I was losing a lot of hair. I was having to detangle my hair all the time. So I didn't like this shampoo or conditioner at all. This is one that I literally recently finished yesterday. It was a Lady Speed Stick Fresh Splash Strawberry Deodorant. I don't even bother with deodorants anymore. I pick up the most affordable deodorant and I use it. I'm not even gonna bother with aluminum free, natural. I, I've tried them all. Like I've tried so many. It's not worth it for me. I would rather apply a deodorant and know it's gonna work. And I mean, I wouldn't mind trying like a natural or aluminum free deodorant if it works. So if it was on sale for like $5, I'd pick it up and try it. But I'm not spending $10 plus on a deodorant that I'm not sure is gonna work. So so this works for me. I have another one that I picked up and I like to have two on hand so when I go to the drugstore, whatever's most affordable, that's what I will pick up. 
But yeah, this for me, it was perfectly fine, lasted a long time. I mean, for like $3, you can't go wrong. Okay, so here is the White Barn Bright Christmas Morning Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. So my boyfriend and I actually finished another one of these. It was like a green one and it was like something snow and I can't remember exactly what it was. But we finished the green one, then we went to the red one, now we're on a blue one. <laughs> I don't remember the scents, but my sister always gets us like three of them every Christmas. So we we end up literally just using them up and then that takes us about halfway through the year. I always say can you pick up like four or five to take us through the year because I don't buy like any expensive soap like when we run out of this soap um, I'll just go to the drugstore buy like one of those big refillable jugs of soap and just fill our soap dispensers. I don't get anything fancy because we go through a lot of soap like we go through one of those big jugs in like a year and then and we go through a couple of these so I don't really see a point in buying a bunch of fancy soap in my opinion anyway I always tell my sisters like instead of buying like chocolates or you know stuff we don't need like you don't have to buy that just buy us like another soap or two <laughs> to get us through the year but anyway um, I love the white barn uh, soaps, especially the foaming ones. I love foaming hand soaps. These typically last us like two months and then we're done. So we're like halfway done the other one. I'll be sad when we finish it and I'll be waiting for Christmas to get some more. Okay, so here are two samples here. So this one here, this was a Niori, Niora IV Moisture Boost um, Hydro Gel Patches. So these ones here were supposed to like help like depuff your under eyes and I think make like fine lines look smoother or something like that. I don't like eye masks and the reason why is to me they're just really really wasteful. I would prefer using a cream, I would prefer using a serum, I like that better. I don't like how this is thrown out and then the patches are thrown out and you can only use them once and it's fairly expensive so for myself personally like I wouldn't get these and I found that yes it made my under eyes really nice and cool and I mean it helped depuff but I didn't see anything crazy or major to make me want to go get them again or recommend them and not just that I just prefer an eye cream that's myself personally I could almost get the same effect if I use a nice eye cream and like my um my jade roller so yeah for me I like not just this specifically but like eye patches in general they're not really my thing anymore I just kind of find them wasteful and an extra step all right and the next thing is the Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate so I actually loved this serum so funny story I picked out like two or three samples from Sephora and the samples I chose they only sent me this one and I don't even think I chose this one I hate when they do that like I understand a lot of people are ordering but don't like maybe just don't offer the samples and just throw whatever in the boxes or something I don't know but anyway I loved this serum. It went on my face so nicely. I was able to get I think three or four like uses out of this. It sunk into the skin nicely. It would go on your skin and it would take like all night to go in. I would just kind of rub the rest in the back of my hands. My hands in the morning were so smooth and they looked so good and I loved it the only thing was the scent of it. I wasn't the biggest fan of the scent but I felt like I could kind of just like get away with it but my boyfriend hated the scent of it so I was like that's too bad because I think there's like a type of essential oil or like floral type of scent to it which if there wasn't I would totally get this again but because of the smell I was like yeah like I know I would get tired of it too so I'm on the hunt to try and find something similar to this because it worked really really good and I was actually so impressed with how it worked for the samples so sometimes samples are a good thing you can find some really good gems with samples and sometimes they're just a waste I don't really know why I kept this or put this in here but I ended up using some floss I think I actually ended up using like two of these so I mean I used up floss I don't get anything fancy actually I always get it from the dentist I also ended up using um, this was a little like body scrub a lady I know that makes soaps and body butters and body scrubs gave me a little sample and I loved it it worked well I have used two bars of her soap this year along with 
I would want to say like five or six of her samples and I'm still on the samples. I've been using them all year so I have been really enjoying her soaps because I am going through them. I haven't bought any other soap for myself. I only use her soaps. They're always so nice. So yeah, I have used quite a few of her soaps this year. I finished like two bars and then I have also been using her samples and I am I'm not even kind of close to done. Her soap lasts forever. So a bar of soap for me lasts months because they just, they last so, so long. They last so much longer than like Dove or any other soap. My boyfriend actually just uses like Dove soap and he goes through like a bar a month maybe. And here I am still on the same bar of soap and I'm like, how does this even make any sense? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so I wanted to just mention that I've used up quite a few handmade local soaps. I've also used a, um, what do you call it? Uh, body scrub. So I have upgraded my skincare and I have been loving it. I want to do a video soon sharing my skincare. I have actually been seeing some really good results. I'm actually shocked with the results that I have been seeing um, in the skincare that I've been using. So I did want to share my thoughts on the skincare with you. That will probably be in like a week or two that I'll share that. So anyway, this was the moisturizer I was using before and I have probably purchased five bottles of this. This is simple and it is from the drugstore and it's probably about $10, maybe $12 now. So it's a kind of skin replenishing rich moisturizer. It's 12 hours of moisturization and you get 124 milliliters. It's cruelty free, it's for all skin types and there's no harsh chemicals. There's no dyes and I don't smell any fragrance in it and that's exactly why I used to get it. So the consistency of this moisturizer was a really nice like cream but it wasn't too too heavy. It kind of had like a little bit of like a watery type of feel to it but it wasn't like water if that makes sense like it wasn't liquidy and what I liked about this was it was really nice on my skin my skin is very reactive so it wasn't causing like any acne it wasn't like sitting heavy on the skin it would absorb into the skin it would work it would moisturize my skin I wasn't getting any like flaking around like my eyebrows or my nose and my skin wasn't really really like visibly dry and that was the thing I found with a lot of other moisturizers like they weren't moisturizing my skin and this was the only one that was moisturizing my skin so I've been buying this now for I want to say like maybe four years I've been buying this and I really did love it a lot. Um, I definitely feel like if I ran out of my moisturizer and I needed to find something in a pinch, I would go back to this. I feel like if you have really sensitive skin and you just need something to kind of start fresh, restart your skincare, if you are maybe like a teenager and you're looking to get into skincare, this is actually a really good moisturizer and it lasted me a really, really long time. So I did enjoy this. I do enjoy this and I would recommend this. I personally found that I did need to kind of upgrade my moisturizer to something a little bit more thick and have a little bit more ingredients into it now that I am 25 I'll be 26 I just wanted something a little bit more so if you're just looking for a basic moisturizer this is this is the way to go alrighty so here is the Ilia mascara I love this mascara. So I currently have eyelash extensions on. I want to give away. I thought I would give it a shot and I do actually really, really like them a lot. But for myself personally, I just don't see myself like continuing to have them done. What I would want to try getting done is like a lash lift and tint. I think that would be a lot better for myself personally. But the Ilia Mascara is a really, really, really beautiful mascara. I absolutely love it. It would just like make your lashes look so nice and natural and it would give it a little bit of like lift and it would darken them up and I just, I loved it. It didn't irritate my eyes, it didn't smudge, it didn't flake. It was a very, very comfortable. So this is definitely a mascara that I am going to be looking into when I go to repurchase a mascara. I am currently using a Sephora mascara which I have been really loving and enjoying. I've been finding I'm leaning more towards like 
the kind of higher end mascaras. Like I know Sephora brand is not higher end, but I haven't been having good luck with drugstore mascaras. So I think maybe once I finish the Sephora mascara, I might try um, like tinting my lashes and lifting them. Uh, and then if I like that, maybe I'll continue it. And if I don't, I may repurchase this. The next item is going to be the Nivea Q10 um, eye cream. I don't know why I couldn't say that. I knew what I wanted to say, but I couldn't say it. I've probably purchased this like 10 times. I've been using this for like what, maybe 10 years? Like, I purchased this when I was a teenager. I just love this eye cream. The reason why I like this eye cream is because it's affordable. You're able to find it at Walmart, the drugstores. Like, you can find it almost anywhere. It's a really nice consistency. It's just a nice cream to go under the eyes. It's not like gel, it's a cream. And it's very easy to pat under the eyes. It feels really nice, it moisturizes. I love this eye cream and I've been using it for years and they say it is anti-wrinkle and it is a firming eye cream. Now I have been using it for years and I do have little fine lines like under my eyes but I honestly feel like every time I use that eye cream my under eyes feel so nice and hydrated. The eye makeup always sits better under it and my eyes always just look better and feel better. So I am currently using one from the Inky List and I'm not that impressed with it. I kind of wish I just had my Nivea eye cream to be honest with you. But yeah, if you're looking for just a good basic eye cream just to kind of moisturize under your eyes, have a good base for makeup, or maybe help with like the look of fine lines, the Nivea one is something to look into. Now don't get me wrong, I will apply the eye cream and you can still see the fine lines, makeup can still sit in there, but there's something about that eye cream that I just love. And if you're a teenager, you're just starting to get into skincare, you just want something basic, I totally recommend that eye cream. I've got three more empties. We're gonna save the worst for last. I don't mind ending on a bad note, but let's just kind of get through these two. So here is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. I did a video talking about CeraVe. I love their cleansers. They work so well. When it comes to cleansers, I don't really purchase anything too expensive as long as they can clean my face they don't cause any redness, they don't cause irritation, they're not stripping or tightening, they're good. All the CeraVe ones I've tried, they're amazing, they work really well, they clean really well, they help remove my makeup, so I would totally recommend this. It is kind of expensive, but honestly, this bottle can last my boyfriend and I about six months, so it does last a long time, you don't need to use too much, and it cleans really, really well. So I like how they're dye-free, and I think they're fragrance-free. They all do different things, so I currently have like two different ones, one's in my shower, and one is on like our sink, so you'll see those sometime this year, but yeah, CeraVe's like top notch for facial cleanser. So the next item is the All Nighter from Urban Decay. Love this setting spray. I am wearing it today. I just love the Urban Decay All Nighter. I typically get them when I purchase like kits. So I'll typically get like the Sephora Favorites kit, the Vacation kit. Whenever I buy a kit, it's always in there. But if it didn't, I would more than likely purchase like one big bottle and use that. I had three of them. I'm currently working on another. I have one set aside, so I'm hoping to get through them this year, but they really make your makeup last a long time, and I love the effect that it gives my skin. I also find that I have tried different setting sprays, and I like the nozzle on this one. I like the finish. I like how it doesn't make it too dewy. I like how it doesn't make it too dry. Don't get me wrong, there is like alcohol in here so it can make your skin a little bit dry. But I'm telling you, like this is a really good setting spray. So if you want like a good setting spray, maybe give this a shot and see if it works for you. The moment I have been waiting for, the worst shampoo and conditioner I have tried. Oh my god. This is the Color Solutions by Ion, and I hate this shampoo and conditioner. Typically when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, it takes a lot for me to not like it. I will just work through it. Like I worked through 
this one here. I'll work through some drugstore stuff. Like this was awful. Even my boyfriend said this stuff did not make my hair look good. My hair always looked really bad and really greasy. So here's the thing. It's expensive, it's not worth the money, and I hated it. I, I just, I did not like it. So I bought two bottles of the shampoo and conditioner. So they had like a sale where it was like buy one, get one, or buy three, get one. I can't remember. So I bought two bottles of shampoo and two bottles of conditioner. And holy moly, this stuff was awful to the point where I didn't finish it. I have it like in a bin. I said to my sister, if you want to give it a go, try it, but it's awful. Here's the thing with the shampoo and conditioner. Right off the bat, if this works for you, that's great. I am very happy for you that you can find a shampoo and conditioner that works. It is annoying to like try and find a shampoo and conditioner that works. So if it works for you, that's great. For me, uh-uh. So here's the thing. I had to use so much of the conditioner to be able to get my hair to not be tangly for it to actually condition my hair. Now, I would rinse out my hair. Like, I would be in the shower for so long, rinsing out my hair, brushing my hair in the shower, taking the shower head and like going near my scalp. Like, I was rinsing my hair, okay? I feel so dramatic, but like, I was rinsing it. I'd get out of the shower, I'd feel my hair, and it just felt like there was so much conditioner and shampoo in there. I was like, okay, maybe my hair is just damp, like I have really thick hair, like maybe it just, it needs to air dry, maybe I need to blow dry it. So I literally would let it air dry for like an hour or two. I would still feel it, I'd go, rinse out my hair again, and all the product would come off. It was like, it left this awful, film in my hair. Not to mention, even after, my hair would always look really like dingy. It looked weighed down. It didn't feel good. It never like had like any natural like wave or bounce or anything to it. It just, it didn't work. It always left this really bad film on my hair. And not to mention, the color faded. So probably because I had to wash my hair so many times and rinse my hair out so many times because of this awful shampoo and conditioner. So I just thought of this too. So it was only two conditioners and one shampoo I bought because I bought an Ion like curl defying cream. So at first I thought it was the curl cream. So I stopped using the curl cream. It wasn't that, it had nothing to do with it. But that curl cream too just isn't good. I don't know what it is. I, I'm not really enjoying these Ion products. Like, they're not very good. I won't be spending my money on them again because I was not impressed with that shampoo and conditioner. It was disgusting. Like, I could literally just feel like just product stuck in my hair and then I'd have to go rinse it out again. And of course, because you're not like, fully washing your hair, at least for mine anyway. It didn't look good, it didn't feel good. My hair always felt so dry and it was so tangly. So I just ended up going to Winners. I found something that said color safe. It has like keratin in it and it's working amazing. So I now have some shampoo and conditioner that works really good. My hair is still kind of a little bit damp and this is like the first time I've washed it since I've had it like done. And I feel like my hair is just amazing so i am absolutely loving it i'm very impressed and i will not buy that ion stuff again thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments down below if you guys have recently finished anything and i will see you in the next one very very soon bye